Today we're diving into a topic that could save you thousands of dollars and countless hours of headache. We're gonna be exposing 10 types of remote job companies that you absolutely have to avoid. And many of these are money-making scams that are targeting people just like you. And every day I hear from viewers or I even work with people that have fallen for these tricks. But after this video, you'll be scam-proof and ready to find legitimate remote work opportunities. And stay tuned because number seven is so sneaky that it even fooled me when I first started out. Now, before we dive in, let's talk about why these scams scams are so effective. The allure of easy money and flexible work is powerful, especially when you're desperate for a career change, struggling with bills, and dreaming of that digital nomad or work from home lifestyle. And scammers know exactly which buttons to push. They prey on our desires and our vulnerabilities. But here's the thing, legitimate remote jobs do exist, and I've helped thousands of viewers land amazing opportunities. The key is knowing how to spot the real deal from the fakes. So let's go ahead and arm you with the knowledge to protect yourself and find those genuine opportunities. So scam number one, is going to be the upfront fee trap. Here's how it works. You find a job listing that sounds perfect. Great pay, flexible hours, no experience needed, but there's a catch. You need to pay a small fee for training materials or software access. So stop right there because legitimate employers will never ask you to pay for a job. Remember this golden rule. You should be getting paid, not paying them. Now there are exceptions like background checks for certain industries, but those typically come much later in the hiring process, not upfront. And a pro tip here is if a company is ever asking you for money before before you've even had an interview, run the other way. Why are you running? Why are you running? Now I have to be very careful calling out companies like this because I don't wanna get sued, but a real world example of this is in 2019, the FTC sued a company called Worldwide Work at Home, which promised to help people start their own online businesses. The company charged upfront fees ranging from 42 to $220 for startup kits that were supposed to lead to lucrative work at home jobs. In reality, these kits contained no valuable information and the promised jobs didn't exist. And the FTC won a $25 million judgment against the company and its owner. So never pay upfront fees for job opportunities or starter kits. Research the company thoroughly using the Better Business Bureau and online reviews and report suspicious job listings to the FTC or your local consumer protection agency. Next up, we have the fake job interview scam. This one's particularly nasty because it feels so real. You get an email inviting you to a job interview, you prepare, you dress up, you're feeling confident and the interviewer seems friendly and professional, but then things start to get a little weird because they start asking for sensitive information, your social security number, your bank account, details, even a scan of your driver's license. Now hold up, no legitimate company out there needs this info during an initial interview. That is a massive red flag. Real first interviews are about your skills, experience, and your fit for the role. Personal details come much later, after you've been offered the job. And if an interviewer is pushing for this info early on, it's a major red flag. So politely ask to end the call and then report the listing if possible. Now, a real world example of this is in 2021, the Better Business Bureau reported a surge in fake job interview scams. And one victim, a college student in Ohio, was contacted for a remote marketing position. And during the interview conducted via a messaging app, the scammer asked for personal information, including a copy of her driver's license and social security number. The student provided the information, believing it was for a background check. And she later discovered her identity had been stolen and used to apply for unemployment benefits and credit cards. So some actionable advice here is to always verify the company and interviewer's credentials before the interview. Never provide sensitive personal information during initial interviews and use video calls for remote interviews to better assess legitimacy. And one final thing is to just trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Scam number three is the too good to be true offer. Now let's talk about something we all dream of, the perfect job offer. But sometimes it sounds too good to be true. And in many cases, it probably is. For instance, make $10,000 a week working just two hours a day. No experience needed for this multi six figure remote position. Instant hire for all applicants. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Uh, come on folks, we all know deep down that these are fantasies, but when we're desperate or dreaming big, it's easy to fall for them. Here's the reality. Legitimate remote jobs pay fair market rates. They require relevant skills and they have a proper hiring process. Does this mean you can't find a great paying remote job? Absolutely not. There's lots of them that I've talked about on this channel, but it will require effort, skills, and a bit of patience. Now, trust me, the real opportunities are out there and they're worth the wait. Don't let desperation push you into the arms of scammers. So a real world example of this is in 2020, the Internet Crime Complaint Center, or IC3, reported a case where a victim responded to a work from home job advertisement promising $300 per day for only three to four hours of work. The scammer convinced the victim to provide personal and banking information for a background check and a purchase specific computer equipment. The victim ended up losing over 1,000 
$10,000 in equipment costs and had their identity stolen before realizing that it was a scam. So what you want to do here to avoid this is to research typical salaries for the position using sites like Glassdoor or Payscale. Be wary of jobs offering high pay for little work or experience and avoid providing personal information for making purchases before thoroughly vetting the company. Also, make sure to check if the company has a professional website and verifiable contact information. Scam number four is going to be the phishing expedition. And this is where you get an email that looks like it's from a well-known company, maybe even one you've applied to before. They say they need you to verify your application by clicking a link. Now you need to be very careful if you ever click links that come in your email, because this is often a phishing attempt to steal your personal info or infect your computer with malware. And you want to always, I mean always double check the sender's email address. Scammers often use addresses that look similar to real companies, but are slightly off. And never click links in unexpected emails. Instead, go directly to the company's official website and log in there. And if you're unsure, contact the company directly using contact info from their official site, not the email. Now remember, in the digital marketing job hunt, sometimes a healthy dose of paranoia can actually be your friend. So a real world example of this is in 2022, the cybersecurity firm Proofpoint uncovered a large scale phishing campaign targeting job seekers. The scammers impersonated well-known job search websites like Indeed and sent emails with malicious attachments disguised as job descriptions. When opened, these attachments installed malware that could steal sensitive information from the victim's computer. And the campaign affected thousands of job seekers across multiple countries. So the way to avoid this ever happening is to never click on links or download attachments from an unsolicited email. Also, manually type the company's web address to access your account and always use antivirus software and also keep it updated. And another thing you can do is enable two-factor authentication on all job search accounts. Next, let's talk about a classic that's adapted to the digital age, the fake check scam. So here's the setup. You're offered a job often as a payment processor or mystery shopper, and they send you a check asking you to deposit it and then wire some money elsewhere. The check looks real and your bank might even make the funds available quickly. So you wire the money as asked. But here's the kicker. That check is fake. It'll bounce in a few days and you're on the hook for all the money, what you wired and what you sent. So a real world example of this is in 2021, the US Postal Inspection Service reported a case where college students fell victim to a fake check scam. The student was hired as a secret shopper and received a check for $1,950. They were instructed to deposit the check, keep $450 as payment, and then wire the remaining $1,500 in order to evaluate a money transfer service. The student complied only to find out days later that the check was fraudulent. They were left responsible for an entire 1950 plus bank fees. So some actionable advice here is to be skeptical of jobs that involve depositing checks and wiring money. Wait for the checks to fully clear, which can in some cases take weeks, before using the funds. Also verify job offers with the company directly using contact information from their official website and report suspicious checks to your bank immediately. Now, if you're somebody who's confused about picking the best remote job for you, I do have a free resource, which is the seven step guide to choosing your dream career, which you can check out down the description and the pinned comment below. Many people have used this guide to pick their dream jobs. And there's even tips on how to land it as well. So definitely check it out. All right, folks, let's reel in our next scam, the job description bait and switch. Here's how it works. You apply for a dream job with an amazing description. It's great pay, perfect hours, fantastic benefits. And then you go through the interview process and everything seems legit. But when you get the offer, suddenly everything's different. The salary is half what was advertised. The hours are terrible. And the only benefit is a free subscription to a meditation app you've never heard of. This is classic bait and switch. They lure you in with a great offer, then try to pressure you into accepting something much worse. So you want to always get the full job details and writing before accepting. If the offer doesn't match what was advertised, it's time to throw the fish back in the seat. Remember, you have value. Don't let anyone pressure you into accepting less than what you're worth. Now, a real life example of this is in 2019, a major tech company was sued for advertising high paying jobs. They advertised sales jobs only to offer a much lower paying canvassing position after candidates went through the interview process and the company settled the lawsuit for $1.5 million. So some actionable advice here is to get all job details in writing before accepting an offer. You also want to compare the final offer to the original job description and ask about any discrepancies and then be prepared to walk away if the offer doesn't match what was advertised and also report significant bait and switch tactics to your local labor board. All right, so class is in session for our next scam, the pay for training program scam. These scammers promise to train you for high paying remote jobs, often in the tech fields, and they guarantee job placement after completion. Sounds great, right? I mean, the pitch is tempting, you get to learn new skills, you get to get a great job. 
but there's a catch. The training costs more than a year's supply of avocado toast. Now here's the truth. Most of these programs offer subpar training you could get for free online. And that job guarantee, well, it's often full of more holes than Swiss cheese. Legitimate companies invest in training their employees. If a job opportunity requires you to pay for training up front, it's probably not a real job. So instead of paying for false promises, invest time in free or very affordable resources. Platforms like Coursera, Course Careers, edX, and Free Code Camp offer high quality training that can genuinely boost your remote job prospects. And I'll link some really good free trainings down below. So a real life example of this is in 2020, the FTC sued a company called My Computer Career for deceptive marketing practices. The company promised high paying IT jobs after completion of their expensive training program, but many graduates ended up with low paying retail jobs or no job at all. So some actionable advice here is to research free or low cost training options before paying for expensive programs. You also wanna check the program's job placement rates and graduate reviews. And then you wanna verify any certifications or qualifications the program claims to offer. And you really wanna be wary of guaranteed job placement promises. Time to investigate our next scam, which is the fake background check scam. Here's the setup. You've made it through the interview process and the company says they just need to run a quick background check before making an offer. Sounds standard, right? But wait, they're asking for your social security number, bank details, and maybe even your mother's maiden name and the name of your first pet too. You know, the normal background check stuff, right? Wrong. This is a one-way ticket to identity theft city. Population, you. Legitimate background checks don't need your bank details or passwords, and they're usually conducted by third-party companies, not directly by your potential employer. If a company is asking for too much info too soon, it's time to go all Sherlock Holmes and deduce that this job is elementary, my dear scam. So a real-life example of this is in 2018, the FBI warned about a surge in fake background check scams targeting job seekers. And in one case, a victim lost over $3,000 after providing sensitive information for a background check for a fake remote job. So some actionable advice here is to only provide sensitive information after receiving a formal job offer. And you wanna verify that the background check is conducted by a reputable third-party company. Also, never provide banking information for a background check. And check if the company follows standard hiring practices like in-person or video interviews before background checks. Scam number nine is going to be the unpaid trial work scam. And this scam is sneakier than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. The company says they love your application, but they just need you to complete complete a small project to prove your skills. Unpaid, of course, but it's just a trial, so it's okay. So you pour your heart and soul into this trial thinking it'll land you the job. But after you submit your work, poof, the company disappears faster than cookies in a break room. Well, here's the secret sauce. Legitimate companies might ask you for portfolio samples, but they usually are not gonna ask you to produce new unpaid work as part of the application process. And if a company wants you to work for free, even as a trial, that's not a job opportunity. That could potentially be exploitation with the side of theft. Remember, your skills are the main course, not free samples at a supermarket. Don't let anyone take a bite out of your time and talent without fair compensation. <laughs> That was the right thing to do, Peter. So a real life example of this is in 2021, a graphic designer reported being asked to create a full marketing campaign as an unpaid test for a remote position. And after submitting the work, the company ghosted her and used her designs without payment. So some actionable advice here to avoid this is to limit any test work to a small reasonable amount, maybe one to two hours maximum. Also consider watermarking any sample that you provide. And you wanna ask for paid trial periods instead of unpaid work. And then also be wary of companies asking for extensive samples that could be used as free labor. All right, so next, let's slide into the DMs of our final scam, the unsolicited job offer scam. So you're scrolling through LinkedIn, maybe liking a few I'm humbled to announce posts, when suddenly, a message from a recruiter offering you an amazing job opportunity. Out of the blue, no application necessary. It sounds perfect, great pay, remote work, flexible hours. All you need to do is click this link and enter some info to get started. All right, so hold your horses. While legitimate recruiters do reach out on platforms like LinkedIn, unsolicited job offers that seem too good to be true, usually are. Now, these scams often lead to phishing sites that steal your information, or they might be setting you up for one of the other scams that we've discussed. Remember, in the job market, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So a real life example of this is in 2022, the FBI reported a rise in job scams where criminals impersonated real companies on LinkedIn. In one case, a victim lost over $10,000 after accepting a fake job offer 
offer and being tricked into a payment processing scam. So some actionable advice here is to thoroughly research any company that reaches out to you unsolicited, connect with a recruiter on LinkedIn and verify their position with the company, be cautious of job offers that don't match your experience or skill set, and never send money or personal financial information to a potential employer. Now, I did make a video on the 21 highest paying remote jobs that are almost always hiring, and you can check that out by clicking right here.